hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see the different options which are available for deploying the containers so here as you can see in this slide like uh, we have a application container and database container for the application and for that we need to deploy the azure virtual machine and then we need to install the docker which is the container engine and on top of that we need to deploy our container to run this application and the image we can you know pull from the docker hub or the azure container registry and the other method going to be you know using the azure container instance so in this scenario we don't need to manage any of the underlying azure virtual machines and also we don't need to install any kind of uh, you know application whether like uh, uh, the docker engine or we don't need to you know bother about uh, you know looking for the images from the docker hub or any places so that's completely you know managed to by the azure so in that case we can use the azure container instance and uh, this azure container group can contain multiple container as well so we can just uh, you know simply uh, deploy our container using this option so the other scenario would be like uh, let's say we have multiple container and uh, we need to you know manage all those container in efficient way so for that cases for the you know orchestration purpose like uh, we can use the azure kubernetes service that's you know fully managed by the azure kubernetes so here we can you know deploy multiple containers based on the applications and uh, we can also you know do the orchestration of the container based applications okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you